Hi everyone, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. In Act 1, we fought Auntie Ethel, the hag, and just like a bad habit, she is back in Act 3. We are on the doorstep of her lair, um, and we have got another opportunity to take her down once and for all. So, why don't we go see what lies in store for us, shall we? Oh, I remember those red flowers from Act 1. Uh, there are all her masks. I remember I them you, from Auntie. Act 1. So Mask of Servitude, much. Mask of Vengeance. Oh, I Captain Grizzly. So, so the, the captain upstairs Thank you, Auntie. is not the real one. Oh, I see, I see. So she's she's taken her place. Um, okay, so we should... Let's see if we can sneak just to get a bit closer. What? What is trapped? Oh, I see. It's a little tripwire right over here. Okay, DC 10, DC 20 will do it, very cool. What do we have here? Alright, there's some stuff over here, some alchemical ingredients. Cool, I'll take that. Let's go and loot this other room over here as well. Oh, we unlocked some new recipes. That's very nice. A few potions and lotions here that we'll pick up and add to our collection. And then what is this? Some kind of a uh, storeroom, maybe? Ooh, DC 20. Okay. Uh, that might be a little difficult. Should I get advantage with, um, from Shadowheart? Let's see if we pass this the first time. Oh, we did it. We didn't, we didn't even need it. Good for us. Wooden wall cast vicious mockery. Oh. Well, that's cool. Uh, what do we got going on in here? Do I see Auntie Ethel anywhere? Purulent bulb. Barrel stock. Alright, so there's some environmental hazards over here. Ooh, what is this? Pearl spore bell. What is that? Linked to her with fell magic, these mushrooms keep Auntie Ethel alive until they are destroyed. Oh, I see. At the start of its turn, this mushroom keeping Auntie Ethel alive regains all its hit points unless some effect prevents it from restorative healing. Didn't it say something that, like, um, fire was the key to, uh, for killing these mushrooms? I feel like Gale. Oh, there's, there's three of them. There's one over here. Okay. There's one right here. I can't tell if the effect is active or not. I assume it is. And there's one over here. There was, looks like there used to be one here, but that, if these detonate each time she's killed, the, this is probably where one was detonated, uh, the first time we killed her. Okay. Well, I don't know Have to keep going. if us coming here is going to trigger something. There's a lever over here. We go check this out real quick. Let it not be cursed. Okay, just a fake wall over here. There's another door. Oh, this is where we this is where we came from. So we came full circle here. Okay. Interesting that we're able to completely skip these guys. Like last time, we were forced to fight them in a uh, in Act One, but. Maybe it's it's nice to have the um, the stealthy option, you know. But I don't see anybody so far. Yeah, this one is for sure um, active. 
to barrel stock there. I'm waiting for her to pop out. I'm waiting for Auntie Ethel to suddenly appear. Oh, let's not be encumbered before this fight. That would be unfortunate. Uh, let's see. Maybe we can move some heavy stuff. These grease bottles, let's just send those to, I don't know, Carlac. There we go. What happens if we un-stealth? Okay, here's what I think. Here's what I think. I think the second that we attack one of these mushrooms, uh, Auntie Ethel is going to spawn in. That's my thought. So, based on the book that Mayrina said, gave us, we need fire to destroy these uh, mushrooms. So, Gale has obviously oh, some fire at his disposal. He's got fireball. This is a lot of damage, or a lot of, uh, a lot of hit points to get through. For sure. What are the biggest fire-based things we have at our disposal. We, pro oh, we probably have burning hands, right? We've got one scroll of burning hands. Okay. That's something, I guess. Now, it didn't say that there was vulnerability. Um, it didn't say that these mushrooms had any kind of vulnerability, so I'm not sure la, what la, that will mean. La. Should we all just focus one down and then worry about the others... Okay, hang on. I'm thinking we come over here. We enter turn-based mode. We try to destroy this one first because this is going to be the biggest pain to take out. Auntie Ethel will probably spawn in as, as the very second we do any kind of damage. So let's ungroup. Let's get ourselves postured. Gale is going to be right here to chuck a fireball. Um, Penelope will be over here to shoot a flaming arrow. Carlac doesn't really have many, uh, fire-based abilities, per se. She does have this, like, searing smite. Okay. And we'll have shadow hearts. Uh, just stay where she is right here, just to give us a few extra options. Okay, turn-based mode. Here we go. Uh, oh, let's go ahead and use some of these arcane recoveries. Let's get our couple level 3 spell slots back for Gale. So that one here. And... Oh, why can't I... Why can't I not... Oh, because it's a... I used my action. Hang on. Let's exit this mode again. Get our other spell slot back. Okay, and now we re re will re-enter now. Okay, so we could cast Fireball. 8 to 48 damage. That'd be nice. Is it worth it? I feel like it might be worth it. Okay, she didn't immediately spawn in, so... That's interesting. Uh, Penelope... Shoot an arrow fire at it. Okay. It's burning right now, which is good. Uh, how much damage will it take? 1d4 fire damage. So 50-50 whether it gets destroyed or not. Uh, we'll stay here. Us, uh, why don't you come over here and prepare yourself. Shadowheart. Actually, Shadowheart can cast Firebolt. Uh, can I have her come over here? Chuck this. There we go. There we go. No, no, that was very polite. I let you go once already, Hag. Don't get in my way. You made a mockery of me, you little shit. <laughs> Besting me in my own home. Did you think I would simply walk away? That said, I'm shocked and appalled. I can't believe you tried to gush me out in the open like that. 
After all, it's not just me anymore. I, what is it they say? Eating for two. Oh, gross. Is that the uh, the missing girl? I gobbled myself up a sweet little girl, and she was so very tasty. Vengra sits in my belly, growing fat with power. In time, I'll vomit her up and have myself a fresh young hag to train. One of the most disgusting I'll things that we've seen so, so far. Do the heroic thing. <laughs> oh, you've beaten me, have you? Well, I know your secret. And we're rolling initiative. Oh, darlings. Help, Whoa, what are we doing here? Oh, she summoned everybody. Well, that's not great. Uh, commanding Halt on Karlak. Ooh, good thing that she saved on that. That's gonna be pretty big. Okay, got it, got it, got it. So we can't... We can't kill Auntie until we kill the mushrooms. And we need to do non-lethal damage, I think. Because also, these guys... What do they have on them? They have Hag's Pawn. Ethel has taken control. Condition lasts until mask is removed or spellcaster is dead. So, maybe here's what we can do. We do non-lethal damage to them so that if they die, they don't actually die. And then the same thing for Ethel. We don't want her to actually die because then the child will die, right? Let's look at our inventory. What do we have available to us? We have Alchemist's Fire. Does that actually do fire? Yeah, sure does. Uh, only 1d4 fire per turn, though. That's a little underwhelming. We've got a scroll of Firebolt. That's not bad. Uh, where are all anti-ethyls? Oh, they're all invisible, huh? All of her duplicates? That's unfortunate. That's too bad. Oh, uh, well, there's one of them here. That looks like a fake one. What is Hag's trickery again? Is this Ethel or an illusion? Great question. Okay. So that's the only duplicate that we can see at the moment. So this is going to be a very tricky dance because we need to avoid killing these uh, masks if we can while destroying these mushrooms and then actually killing Ethel herself so a lot to do here um, all right where am I right now let's jump up here skip the stairs and then we'll do an arrow of fire I think now, is it can it only be destroyed by fire, or this mushroom regains all its hit points unless some effect prevents it from restorative healing? So, probably fire, right? Okay. Oh. Okay. It is burning, though. That's good, I guess. Okay, Carlac. We might, uh, can we make it over there? You know what, we can. Let's rage. All right. Now we're gonna run over here. We're gonna reckless attack. Reckless attack again. Okay, that helps. Um, we will fly up here. We will uh, try to blind him. There we go. Disadvantage on its attacks. The genie. Really glad we have the genie up here, actually. Maybe we'll do a uh, little whirlwind 
right here? Would that be good? Or should I just try to help take out this mushroom? I think we just help take out this mushroom. Okay, we're gonna teleport over here. Very nice. Immune to poison damage, that's okay. Alright, we'll send us. Um, where should I send them? Let's put them like right here at the top of the stairs, so hopefully these three focus in on him. And we'll just hold our... Well, can I make it down here, actually? I could make it down here. Let's go over here. There we go. Shadow Heart. Shadow Heart might be able to hit this from downtown. Possibly. Um, how far can I get? Not super far, huh? Alright, I'm going to jump up here. And then Sacred Flame, 3d8 damage. Must be animate. Okay. That's not going to work. I could do... This Alchemist's Fire. I could, I could, I could. Let's throw it into our inventory right here. I don't want to hit Karlak if I can help it. But there may be no... No helping it. Um, or just fire bolt and roll the dice. 3 to 30 damage. 3d10 fire damage. I say we go for it. Cool. Oh, we got exactly what we needed. We got exactly what we needed. Cool. Let's come up here. Uh, that's my turn, I guess. Alright, we need Gale to be in position to launch a massive fireball over yonder. So we'll have him jump over here. We're going to run behind Shadowheart, have him basically be uh, escorted by her. That is way too far. What about Firebolt? Also way too far. Uh, I guess we could chuck something at this hag to see if they're the real one or not. That wouldn't be terrible. Or I could also summon this minor elemental. Actually, that might be a more efficient way to spend our turn. Um, yeah, plane of fire elemental for sure. Cool, and they're going to go right after me, which will allow uh, me to see... They're the near one, uh, right? If they're the uh, real one or not. Cool. We'll overheat. Okay, so that's the real one. That is the real one. Lair magic. While in their lair, hag and their doubles have magic resistance. Killing the hag will lead to the child's death. Okay, that's good to know. Um. Um, I mean, they're just going to heal up again, right? There's no point in me attacking, but whatever. And then that's it for Gale, I guess. All right, back to the top of the order. Ray of Sickness on Penelope. That's fine. Weird that, I, that my team took all of their turns. And now all of them are taking their turns, just kind of out of initiative order, you know? Oh, they can save their wisdom uh, throws. Nice. That's awesome, actually. Right, they failed their wisdom save throw, so they're going to fight for her. That's okay. This is fine. Okay. We're in an okay situation. Now, where are all the hag duplicates? Really annoying. I see... I don't know why I'm not seeing... 
where all the other ones are. Or, or why is it that I know that Auntie Ethel is here? And I don't see any of, any of her duplicates. That's very strange. Um, here's what I'm thinking. What if we dimension doored... Uh, with Gale all the way over here so that we can cast some big stuff. That's what I'm thinking. Let's get right up here next to Gale. We have Scroll of Dimension Door, so we don't have to use our spell slots. And we're gonna come right... Uh, maybe right here. This might be okay. Cool. Yeah, for sure. And then bonus action. I don't know if there's a if there's anything really good for us. Let's try to stay away from the edge as much as possible. <laughs> um, what do we have? Let's. We're rocking our sword right now. I don't know. Maybe we can coat our sword in some uh, in some oils. What do we have? Are they? Is it considered a potion? Yeah. Um, sure. Serpent Fang Toxin. Why not? There we go. Alright, Karlak is still raging. Which is good. Ooh, a critical hit. Nice. We're just going to try to get her down as much as possible, I think. Because we're doing non-lethal damage right now, right? Yeah, we are. Um, I'm going to try to knock knock them prone. There we go. Nice. Good turn. And uh, I don't know if I want to do any more damage to her. Right? Yeah, okay. And turn. The mask. Get it off. That's a plus. Get it off uh, we'll try to blind again. Successfully blinded. Alright, hang in there, Shadowheart. Oh, hang in there, Raven. <laughs> All of that to miss on the Raven. Oh, there they go. There we got him. Alright, the genie can actually get quite far. Any space you could see, so... Right here. Nice, that's great. Um, I don't have any ranged attack, though. I guess we'll dash. Can I get up here? No, I can't. That's alright. Next turn. Next turn. We'll keep us there. Uh, Shadow Heart. What if I were to just take the opportunity attack? I think I will. Cool. Let's do that. Let's come over here. Do I have the range to hit this thing? Not like that. What about Sacred Flame? Uh, can't be inanimate. That's annoying. What about throwing uh, alchemist fire? Just a tiny bit out of range. Yeesh. Okay. Let's just do... Um, and then I assume firebolt can't hit it, can it? No, cannot. Alright, let's just do one of our channel divinities. Let's do invoke duplicity. So we'll put a duplicate right here. Cool. And enter. Alright, Gale. What's the biggest fire thing you got? Actually, you know what? What if we were to cast Fireball at like level 5? That did pretty well. That did pretty well. Is it possible that my guy can get over here and 
Uh, not quite. Can't quite make it over there. Um, all right, I'm just going to come over here and try to shield my team from being attacked. Boon of Servitude. So they're just going to heal her up a little bit, which actually might be okay. That's actually not a terrible thing, I think. Oh, and a fellow bard here. I don't see too many bards out in the wild. Ray of Sickness on Penelope. That's okay. Uh, yeah, I think that's fine. Ray of Sickness on Shadowheart. That's okay. Gotta watch Penelope's health, though. It is getting a tad low for my liking. Uh, we'll cutting words this one. There we go. Nicely done. Ooh, critical miss. Cool. Love to see it. Alright, the mushrooms. Oh, they regain all their hit points. I forgot. I forgot. Okay, so Gale... Gale's efforts were for naught, I'm afraid. But... Um, should we just throw a bomb over there? Is that the biggest damage that we have? Or this acid arrow? I don't know if it's immune. Is it immune to acid? Immune to poison? Not immune to acid, per se. Let's take a look at our spell scrolls that we have. We'll sort by type. Okay. Uh, scroll of Firebolt. Need big damage. Just straight up big damage. Necrotic? Necrotic damage would do it. Scroll of Disintegrate. That definitely would do it. That seems a little dramatic, doesn't it? Um, scroll of Sunbeam, that might do it, but it's a shame to use, like, a, a line spell in such a way as this. Actually, here's what we'll do. Um, is there a way for me to get over there? Not really, unfortunately. Not really. Oh man, we may just need to use the disintegrate. 50 guaranteed damage, probably more. I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use a disintegrate. Is it overkill? Probably. Now, oh, here's the other thing. Does it have to be on a creature? It just says target. It doesn't say it doesn't say the 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 creature or whatever. So here we go. Scroll of disintegrate. Percent. There we go. It is gone. It is gone, which allows Carlac to reckless attack, non-lethally. By the way. There we go. Lies unconscious, her stomach bulging from the child she ate. Oh, we get the opportunity to cut the kid out for sure. Yes, please. I like to think this gives Carlac some satisfaction. Nice. Oh man. Um, are you Vonra? I'm here to rescue you. Sorry I was... took so long. Mommy! Cool. I guess she'll be... she'll be fine. Child protection agents. That's great. Uh, and all the masks are okay now, fortunately. Wow, what a fight. What a fight. I'm a little sad we didn't get a nice little uh, final 
parting shot from Auntie Ethel, some kind of final dialogue, but honestly, I think her story was just about fully told, so no harm there. Um, let's go around and toast, toast. talk to everybody so that they can thank us for saving them. You're welcome for not being killed. Huh. Auntie, that's my baby! Where is he? Where is my baby? Huh. Can I pickpocket him? No. I guess he's... I can't take the mask off him, unfortunately. I should what about up. this guy? The captain seems to be perfectly fine, interestingly enough, just not the other minions. Auntie! Where is Auntie? You don't need her anymore. Have you seen Auntie? I need to find her before they come back. Weird. Weird and wild. Of raided warships. Four. Every beastie the sea can throw at you. And I've never flinched. Not once. But Ethel? Umberly's tits. She snapped her fingers and had me. I would have died for her. Wanted to. Then you showed up. Armed to the teeth. You could have killed me. Been right to. But you didn't. You have an old captain's thanks. Yeah, it's uh, my pleasure. It was not, not your fault. Um... I've dealt with her before, and yeah, she's a known, a known quantity. Knowing and doing are two different beasts. And one is a hell of a lot harder than the other. You're welcome in the maid. Anytime. The old girl is as much your home as she is mine. And I'll gut anyone who says otherwise. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. Wow, so that means that Auntie Ethel was impersonating the captain when we talked to her before. And she was the one that gave us the quest to kill the mother of the missing child, which... That is just so twisted when you think about it. Super duper twisted. Uh, some slime bombs. Okay, cool. Potion of greater healing. A tarnished charm. Makes it easier for the wearer to succeed death saving throws. Okay. Not bad. Corellan's Grace. Um, Alright, it's a okay staff. And then a very uh, rare ring. Feywild Sparks. While your Sorceress Tides of Chaos feature is active, you will always trigger Wild Magic Surge when casting spells. Oh, well, we're not a sorcerer. That's a that's a very cool thing to have, but we're not a sorcerer. We don't, we don't cast Wild uh, Magic. But... Better us having it than somebody who could use it for bad, for ill. So let's take a look here. Um, it's pretty much everything that's in this area. It's just a small little side area, but a lot packed, <laughs> packed into it, apparently. So with that, why don't we check our quest log real quick. Oh, we have to go tell the survivors the good news and visit Laura... And Vonra. Yeah, why don't we why don't we close that out? So let me get us over back to uh Mayrina and let her know that her nightmare hopefully is over once and for all. I don't even know if she'll if she'll believe us. She's dead, isn't she? Ethel is dead. Oh, you felt it. How did you know? I, I felt it, I think. <laughs> It was like a piece of glass had been lodged in my chest and was finally pulled free. And the girl? You saved her, right? Oh, you know I did. I'm good at what I do. <sighs> Thank Traumatized but alive. You hear that, Connor? Ethel is dead. Oh, you didn't change back. You're still a... a zombie. I thought with Ethel gone... Never mind. I'll... I'll find another way to turn you back. Somehow. Well... Um... He's never going to be human again. Is this the right thing to do? Should we convince her of this? 
<laughs> I think, yeah, I think it's... I mean, but here's the thing. Like, resurrection is a, a thing here in the D&D &D universe, so I don't know. I know. Damn it. I know. Connor. I love you. I've loved you since we were kids. And you picked me bluebells and asked me to the summer fair. But you're gone. And this thing isn't you. Not anymore. I think it was a mercy. I'm sorry you couldn't save Not him. Not everyone can be saved. I learned that lesson from Ethel. I just needed you to remind me. <sighs> Here. Thank you for killing Ethel. But I'd like you to go now. I'll be fine. I know I'm stronger than this. I just need some time. It's sad, but I think that puts a nice bow on her story. Rare to see such good cheer from a group of people so down on their luck. Still, good cheer is what we received in abundance when we told them of Ethel's defeat at our hands. Uh, and we got... Semblance of Fae. You have advantage on intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws. That might be good for... Um, I don't know, Carlax, since the generally barbarians are not very good at that kind of thing. Or do I want it to give it to somebody who's already very good at it to ensure that they pass? I don't know. There's a couple ways that we could go about this. But let's go ahead and check in on mother and daughter. We have not been over here yet. The city just keeps going and going, doesn't it? All right, I suspect they live here. Oh yeah, there she is. Laura and Vonra. Hello, family. Hope you're doing well now. Everything is going to be all right. You brought her back. You brought back my sweet, sweet girl. Yeah, the hag was um, a little bit of unfinished business, let's say that. It was everything. I'll never forget it. Here, a token from the pirate life I left behind. Oh, that's cool. Thank you for being braver than half this city put together. You got that right. Whoa, a legendary oh, item and an epic mm. item. How about what do we have something? here? Amulet of Windrider, Ride the Winds Remember? and Gust mm. of Wind. And Duelist's Prerogative. Whoa. Oh boy, while your offhand is empty, you score a critical hit when rolling a 19. Moreover, you gain an additional reaction per turn. Withering Cut. On a hit with a melee weapon, use a reaction to deal additional necrotic damage to your proficiency bonus. Then there's Challenge to Duel. Challenge an enemy to attack only you, inflicting bleeding on the target. And while you are not dual wielding, you can make an additional melee attack with the dueler. That sounds perfect for um, a Starion, maybe. Like, I don't want to give up my sword here the, with the mel melody, because I think that's very on-brand for a bard. But uh, a Starion could definitely use that. Absolutely. And then what does this Ride the Winds thing do? Transform into a cloud. Oh, it's basically the ability to cast um, Gaseous Form and Gust of Wind. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. You hungry, sweet girl? So what do we need to do now? Um, man, we are actually getting a little bit low on quests here, interestingly enough. Uh, I guess we can stop by the guild hall and close out that story because they, event they had initially sent us to go uh, take care of the stone lord. And of course we took care of him but not in the way that they were expecting, of course. Slightly different outcome there. So, let's see, where is their lair? 
I think it's down here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, Guildhall entrance. Let's go close this out. Now, I don't know if they're going to be unhappy at what we did. You know, the fact that we didn't actually kill the Stone Lord. So maybe we should take a quick second to heal up. So let me do that real quick, and then we will uh, head on inside. Okay, we are all healed up. Let's head on in. And uh, warn the guild about the intended coup. Or maybe it's already happened. I don't know. Breathe deep and move. Oh, here's some updates. Hold it there. Bad time to come visiting, my friend. Why? This is interim territory now. Oh, it's already Just happened. As soon as we've purged it of guild rats. Nothing personal. Oh, wow. So we're actually jumping in right away. Whoa. Okay. Ooh. Nine fingers keen. Wow. I am very glad I did not anger her. She took like one and a half people down all on her own. And there's another one down. No offense to the Zentarim. I don't think they stand much of a chance. Uh, yeah. We're rolling initiative, but I don't think this is going to be much of a much of a fight. It's just a bunch of level 3 and level 11 enemies. I mean, a couple 11 uh level 11s. Still breathing. It's not it's everything. not much. Okay. Well, when does this person go? Much later in the uh in the initiative. Can I push them off, maybe? Would that be the better thing to do? Or do a vicious mockery? Let's do the vicious mockery on the level 11 uh, enemy. Uh, I only have three. Let's not react to that. That's, that's not enough to be impactful. Let's run back here, though. <laughs> Seek the protection of our friends. It's a good thing that um, so many of the guild... Um, whoa. Well, never mind. I was going to say, good thing that so many of them rolled so high in initiative, but two of them just got stunned. Really, why are you taking the opportunity attack? That is so unnecessary. Alright, this is their leader, I think. Ooh, Wolf Companion, that's super cool. Lupus. Only has, ele only has 11 hit points, though. That's not a ton, really. Alright, that's pretty cool. Alright, keep in mind, Karlak no longer has any rage charges. Not that it's really gonna matter. Whoa. Knocked out. Oh, yeah, we're doing non-lethal damage right now, aren't we? <laughs> uh, I guess it doesn't... Does it matter if we do non-lethal or not? I mean, Zentarim are... They're bad, right? I guess it doesn't hurt to do non-lethal. Like, they're probably going to be executed by... Uh, they're going to be executed by these guys anyway. Let's go right... here. I can't shove, can I? No, I can't. Um, that's fine. All right, nice little chunk right there. Lady Flux. Ooh, nice. She's a barbarian as well. Did not rage, though, interestingly enough. All right, the genie can definitely get on in there. Uh, why don't you... Ooh. He can basically misty step right here. Perfect. I would like to... Um, thunder wave this guy right off if I can. Oh, the angles are not going to work out. 
All right, what if I were to restrain? Who who else? Who all is gonna go next? Hang on. They are. They are. They are. Okay. 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 Why don't we do something like this? Cool. Works for me. Hang in there, nine fingers. Oh, she's fine. Wow. Holy cow. They missed four attacks in a row. All right, finally hit on one of them. Ooh, let's see if we... We, uh, we want to save her if we can. In my opinion. In this gentleman's opinion. Okay, we're going to dash. We're just going to come down here. All right, and turn. Yeah, I don't I don't love that Nine Fingers is prone and in some distress. Let's see if we can get over there to help her. Maybe Shadowheart can get over there. But of course she is all the way at the end of the initiative order. Super cool wolf companion, but not incredibly effective. Uh, opportunity attack, actually, yeah, I'll take that. I'll buy that for a dollar. Whoa, 64 damage? What the heck, man? Okay. Okay. Well, fortunately, I am an evocation wizard. So I can cast Fireball. Uh, oh, but it's going to hit everybody who is in yellow because they're not considered allies. Don't love that. I could do Disintegrates, my level 6 spell. I could do... Can I cast Haste? No, I can cast Slow, though. Can I reach? Can't quite reach over there. I can Misty Step. Honestly, it may not be a terrible idea. Not enough movement, huh? I would really love, love to get up on this balcony. This would be an okay place to be, I think, actually. Let's do that. We're going to Misty Step over here. And then we're going to cast Slow. There we go. Oh, target is out of sight, of course. Of course they're out of sight. Well, we'll do it on everybody who's in sight. So, one. Uh, two. Three. Four. Who else is still alive? From the, uh, the enemy party. They're out of sight, so they're lucky. I can't hit them. Is there anybody else? I don't think so, actually. I think that might be everybody. Oh. Target is out of... This target is out of sight. Alright, just the... Uh... Oh, only I have two targets selected, or two left? Two left. That's fine. That's fairly effective. Move back a teensy bit. And our intellect devourer friend will just go as far as his little legs can carry him. Alright, Shadowheart. Actually, it's pretty important that you get in here uh, as quick as you can. I almost want to Dimension Door you and us all the way over here to the other side of the map. And then I'm going to bonus action healing word. Uh, actually, she seems to be okay for the moment. She seems to be okay. We'll just we'll end turn there. Okay. Uh, we'll keep it simple. They're already slow. They have mental fatigue. All kinds of bad stuff. Let's just take a shot with an arrow. If we can. Uh, man. Not many great options for shooting, huh? Not many great options. Uh, oh, let's just get the melody going, I think. This was probably our last fight of the day. That's what I said last time, wasn't it? 
And here we are. If they're slowed, how can they have multiple attacks? That's what I want to know. Maybe one action equals two attacks. Maybe that's that's the answer. You misses there, huh? Wow, four straight misses. All right, she's slowed. She has blindness. She has mental fatigue. Lady. Lady Egg. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, she's doing just fine. Alright, we're gonna reckless attack. Whoa, a crit. Whoa. Um, and again. Nicely done. Good for her on succeeding on her concentration saving throws. I would not have expected that. Alright, finally she rages, which she needed to do at the beginning. Nicely done. Alright, the genie uh, could come down here and help out. And attack. They have one hit point left. Good on them. Okay. Critical hit. Yikes. Alright, she's okay for now. He's okay for now. Can I jump uh, here? Yes, I can. Let's do uh, just a regular old attack. Very nice. Blindness, okay. It's actually a little bit of a closer fight than I thought. I mean, I don't think we're going to have much trouble in the end, but they are dishing out a decent amount of damage. Ooh. Lady Flux with one hit point. I think she had, like, Stone's Endurance or something that got her, uh... Wow, one hit point and one hit point. That's a lot. Uh, okay. Could do a Magic Missile. That wouldn't be too bad. Or just a Firebolt. Just take this guy out once and for all. Or attack here. Actually, let's attack... Uh... We'll do Magic Missile at level 1. This guy out. And then the rest on... Her. Alright, broke her concentration. That's a plus. Alright, us. Uh, let's go ahead and devour Intellect here. Saved. That sucks. Alright, she is not looking so hot. So we're probably going to use a third level healing word on her, the Guildmaster. And then we're going to, um, oh, I can't really get very close, can I? I guess I, I guess that's okay. All right, here we go. Poison? Yep. All right, that'll have to do. All right, come on, Nine Fingers. I helped you out. Ooh, 41 damage. Whoa! Yeah. Good for her. We probably didn't even need to heal her, but... That is a cra some crazy damage that she's doing here. Alright. Uh, I would like to save Lady... Lady Flux, if that was possible. Can I jump anywhere and not totally bite the dust? You jump here. That's fine. Maybe I can do a bonus action. Oh, I already used my bonus action. Whoops. Let's do survival instinct on... Oh, she's not an ally, technically. Alright, what can I do instead? Um, let's just do this. Magic missile. Cool. Down she goes. These boots have seen everything. Let's move over here. Uh, that's fine. They're stunned. They're gonna try to stun them as well. Did it succeed? Stay tuned. Yes, it did. That's a very impressive, actually.
All right, good thing he came up here. I thought he was going to go for the bodyguard. Ooh, this is prime Karlak, uh material here. Going to town on this guy. Alright, Karlak. You wanna end this? One and two. Wow. A hag and a mafia fight back to back. Not bad. Not bad for a day's work. So we're gonna go we'll go around and loot all of the uh, the bodies and such. I don't think anybody will mind if we take this uh, individual stuff. Purple worm gullet and a dagger. Great. And I got you guys a couple prisoners too. How about that? So with that, y'all, we'll talk to... Well, we could talk to the guild leader real quick and have them say thank you to us, as they should. Um, is she in, back in her office? Probably. Back in her office, tending to her wounds. I suppose I should have seen that coming. Zentarim aren't known for their loyalty, but I thought the bastards would keep to their contract at least. She kind of looks like us, I'm just a little bit. i my own good, I suppose. If I was in a pit, and you out pull me out. For that, I'm grateful. You'll have what guild blades I can give when the time to take the absolute comes. Nice. So, just tell me what you need to get us there. Cool. Um, what can I do? Ran into some of your thugs, the Rivington rats. Oh. Did you enjoy the encounter? Uh, I think so. I I don't think they enjoyed it. <laughs> I have no <laughs> doubt you gave them a good talking to. The rats usually keep a lid on their nastier notions, but with the Stone Lord business distracting me, some are starting to test the leash. I don't remember who those were that we fought, the but... Quickly. So I can remind my crews it's not a leash round their necks if they cross me. It's a noose. Okay. Uh, what can I do to help? You have done plenty. Do any more, and the guild might have to take a special interest in you. Understood? Great. You don't want to be too far in my debt, I see. Uh, information. Knowing what I know usually comes at a cost. But let's say we'll put it on your tab. Okay. Ooh. Uh, let's just ask one of these. And then we'll be probably be done for the Simple day. Simple enough. After Jahira warned me and then disappeared, I went nosing into the cult for myself. I could bore you with the details. How I found evidence of Gortash's projects, traced him to Orin the Red, and made a safe bet there was some dried out old necromancer to round out the three. Because it's always the dead, bloody three. Yeah, Has frequent been flyers. Gods who can't help but make their irrelevance everyone else's problem. I know, just like get over it, man, right? Um, Although that goes a little bit deeper than that. You've got some juicy little tidbit I haven't heard yet. Um, should we trust her? Yeah, let's trust huh. her. Hmm. It seems like my intelligence on you was patchy at best. That's annoying. And what do you plan to do now that you know? I have know? no intention of leaving my city in the Dead Three's hands. Definitely not leaving it to some slimy shit that doesn't even have hands. So, as long as you can keep a lid on what's growing inside you, we're allies. Until you can't, and we're not. Simple enough, I totally reckon. Totally fair. Now, war to be fought. You need anything? I think we're good. I think we're good. So, guys, thanks so much for watching. A hag and uh, helping out the uh, the underworld a little bit. We've got a nice little roster of allies at our disposal. And um, can't wait to see where the next chapter takes us. So, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.